Salute, 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 peace and power, peace and power. I thank the universal truth and the absolute laws of nature for guiding me, protecting me, and giving me the strength to endure the imperfect. I shall attack with vigor, making progressive moves. A divine mind knows, a divine mind shows. All things work in divine order. All things work in divine order. All things work in divine order. Order. Peace and power to the people to struggle. Salute, salute, salute. What's going on? What's good? How you doing? How you doing? As you come in, make sure that you are aware that you are most welcome, most definitely appreciated, and surely loved. I know, I know most of y'all are getting ready for the big game. I know most of y'all are ready right now. To sit down, don't hear nothing from nobody. Y'all ready to watch this game. This game from a sport that I thought us conscious and woke folk was boycotting. But nevertheless, it's on, it's popping in about another uh, 20, 25 minutes. So listen, I'm going to be very quick, very brief here. I just had to get this in. And I may come back later on, you know, but I want to talk about this school bus driver who wigged out. She wigged out in Georgia. Wigged out. Karen isn't the word to describe this so far unnamed bus driver. So if you haven't seen uh, the video already, Go to my uh, go to my Twitter page, cause my Twitter page has a version of the news that I think a lot of people have not witnessed, and you know us, we are always researching. We are always looking for as many versions of the story as we can get, because of course. Shit, we part of this tribe, right? Y'all know how we do here. We look for the truth. So, there's a bus driver, a school bus driver, who was not the regular bus driver. She was a substitute bus driver, right? Where, of course, she is in charge of dropping children off at specific points where their parents are. Now, from the point of the recording, there is back and forth, arguing, discrepancy of some sort. We later find out that these children are tagged or have tags, which uh, allows the driver to know, <coughs> excuse me, the parents or guardians that she is supposed to release the children to. Um, I don't know if this is nationwide, but damn sure it can't be nationwide because it's not here in NYC, you know? Um, at least not, not to my knowledge. That's this, I guess, again, each municipality is ran differently. However, we see that the kids are in a frenzy on the bus. The parents outside of the bus are in a frenzy. And there's a confrontation between this school bus driver and two parents. From that point, we see one of the parents exiting the bus and another parent still in a verbal confrontation with this bus driver who is adamant about not releasing any of these children. Of course, the children are watching, they're fearful. The parents, of course, because they don't know who this bus driver is, because again, she's a substitute bus driver. She's not the regular. The parents are in an excited mode. Long story short, come on. Our black women do what they do when their kids are threatened or they feel as though someone is threatening 
their children. I'm telling you that this is my child. Let them off the bus. You telling me no. Okay, and then you're vocalizing it in a manner of which you believe that you're in the right. There's a miscommunication. The parent slaps the fire out of Karen. Fire! Wow! So now, of course, everything is elevated. Instead of the parent staying on the bus, she gets off. When she gets off the bus, the bus driver immediately charges back to the seat, puts the bus in gear, closes the door, takes off. While she's taking off, you can see the children out of the window screaming their heads off, scared to death, traumatized. There's no coming back from that. These children are scared to death. We don't know what is going on in that area. We don't know what is going on in their homes. We don't know how they're being raised. We don't know what they're watching, but we do know that everybody's up to speed on the dangers and the what ifs or could be's at school or when these incidents take place. She's driving off, the kids are screaming, screaming at the top of their lungs outside of the window, mind you, which means that they're not in a seat. They're not strapped in, no seat belts because they're out of the window screaming. For... Listen, the whole scene looks like something out of a nightmare on Elm Street, especially the way this bus driver looked. He looked like she was off. And where are you taking these kids now? <clears throat> Drives to the corner, stops for the light, <clears throat> and immediately parents chase the bus down. Others cut her off. She's no longer able to drive. And they open the back door emergency exit to start bringing kids out. Some parents are bringing their children out of the window. These kids are climbing out of the small little window of, you know, these old school bus. It's like, what are we doing? What are we doing? Um, you know, after watching this video several times and looking at several news reports, she's been suspended, this school bus driver. Um, funny thing is, when we're looking at it initially, and we're seeing that these are black children, these are black parents, you would make the assumption that this is a Karen that wilded out and refused to give black women their children. And we would make that assumption, and many of us can say that that is a correct assumption. But here's where the assumption becomes fact that she had an issue with black children and black parents because I found a new segment where there was a white parent who she gave, she released her children to her. Ah, yes, the power of the internet, of social media, of researching more than one source. There was a white woman on the news who stood tall on it and said, I really believe she was just doing her job. She gave me my children. Wow. So why did she find it? Okay, in her heart, in her chest, in her soul to give this white woman her children. She didn't know her either, yet refused to give these black parents their children. Again, the diseased mind. Again, the diseased, privileged racist mind 
that says I can do what I want to do to you and yours because this is my country. This is my bus and I'm in charge. These are my children. You understand? What's troubling for me, and I'm going to always sound like a broken record, is that we don't own these institutions that we entrust ourselves in. We entrusting ourselves in their school system still, which we had to force our way in. We are now in a space, once you do that, to entrust these people who they employ to drive our children, to police our children, right? To feed our children. And subsequently, at any given time, have full and total control over our children. That's, that's scary for me. That, that we're still at that point. That we today in 2023. That we are still allowing that. That we haven't figured that out yet. That at this point, we are still going through the same things that we went through. Again, during Reconstruction, pre-Reconstruction, post-Reconstruction, pre-Jim Crow, post-Jim Crow. We still find ourselves at the mercy of these institutions for no other reason than our fall back than our shrugged shoulders attitude when it comes to our beings. Why are we still doing this? Why aren't there a group of men who may not, <coughs> excuse me, who may not have employment, who have access to vehicles that are taking our children back and forth from school? in these areas, taking our women and elders back and forth to these stores or malls. I mean, NYC, as crowded as it is, we still got dollar fans. We still have people who they want to claim as hustlers, but they're doing a, a valiant thing waiting at these malls. You need a ride? People want to call that hustling, but that's a service. That's a way of life. That's an honest way to get a buck. Right? Our mall in East New York, Gateway Mall, is far. They just now started having buses going through because now, of course, they extended the mall. So it's a gateway two and three. So now buses coming from Queens, but some people in East New York, can't get to it without an Uber or a cab. So you got these men out there in some decent vehicles, right? You know they're earning it. They getting it, getting it. They making a nice little penny, taking people from the mall home. From the mall home. You understand? And of course, when we do things like that, then we have others who vet these dudes. Who are you? How are you in the East? What's your name? You, you, you understand that all this could take place in any section, in any living area where we're at, across this country, taking care of our own. Because say she didn't stop at that red light or at that intersection. Say she just bust through and in that very moment, Someone ran the light, boom. Now you got a bus full of kids with a crazed driver that didn't make it. And parents and their siblings had to watch that. What are we, what are, what are we doing? Make it make sense, yo. Make it make sense. We 
we in this day and time, in this space, right? Remember, time and space are supposed to be the custodians of our own lives. We supposed to be in a space now where we own every and anything that has to do with our livelihood, with our welfare, with our safety. I can only imagine what those kids felt at the moment she stomped on the gas and pulled off. So I asked the white woman who were given her children, you think that was part of her job description? You believe that she was just doing her job when a parent is telling you that is my child and the child is saying that is my mother? Really? Think about where we are at and what we give power over us to. So salute, peace and power. Tap that green screen. And for everybody who taps that green screen, much appreciated in advance. Probably shall return tonight because I do have a few other issues to speak on and speak to. Much love to my moderators. I see y'all all up in the spot. Let's grow, share, share, share the vid, and comment. Let me know what you think about this. And let me know some suggestions on how we could prevent stuff like this from ever happening again. Salute, much love, peace and power. If you're watching the game, enjoy the game. Go Big Blue. Huh? Go Big Blue. Sorry, Philly.